Over the years, lots of people have asked how I got into this work. This work being education surrounding death and dying and advocacy for my clients actively facing the end of their lives. I'm a death doula. For me, getting into this work came about unexpectedly but naturally as well. I'm a musician in a couple of bands, and while striving home from the recording studio one day, there was a program on the radio about death doulas. I had sort of been thinking about what else I could do with my life alongside music and art, and the more I listened to this program, the more I felt like it was speaking directly to me. I wanted to be involved in this. I wanted to go down that road. I wanted to be a death doula. So when I got home, I immediately looked into training courses and that same day began learning about all things end of life. I felt a real connection and interest with the topic, a topic I'd spent my life being fascinated by and making art and music about. I went on throughout the years to create my own practice called Steady Waves End of Life Services in Austin, Texas, and to develop and test an intense death meditation I call a living funeral ceremony, which I took on tour all around the country while playing music in my band. I led hundreds of people through this death meditation and had some really profound experiences. I started teaching others how to facilitate these living funerals too, all the while volunteering for multiple hospices, taking part in end-of-life panels, workshops, and retreats, walking alongside my clients toward the end of their lives, and making amazing connections with others in the death workspace. I always had this idea in the back of my mind that one day I'd love to open up my own death center, a physical place people could go to meditate on death, find resources, have open conversations about death and dying, ask questions, and partake in living funeral ceremonies. I finally made my dream a reality in July of 2021, when after moving from Texas to England, I secured a lease on a property in a little village by the sea called Abbotsbury in Dorset. After some TLC, blood, sweat, and tears, the center was finally ready for opening in August of 2021. Steady Wave Center for Contemplation was born. My friend Sophia of Woven Farewell Coffins made a gorgeous willow coffin, which I invite people to come lay down in. I gathered resources from near and far and curated a little library of relevant books. My shop is next to a bait and tackle shop, and sometimes people mistakenly walk into the center looking for some shrimp or worms. It's fun to be this odd little space where no one expects it. I also learned recently that my shop was originally run by the village coffin maker and wheelwright, Mr. Mundy. How wild is that? And that's where I am today. Moving to a new country, a global pandemic, and opening a center has meant it's been a quiet few years in terms of assisting clients in person, though I have had the immense honor of working with a couple of families over that time period. My focus now is on being a presence in my community, education, and eventually building my local connections. I want this channel to be a realistic online journal of the life of a death doula. It will naturally include some music, art, and other aspects of my days. I hope you find it interesting. Always feel free to reach out with any questions you might have, and thanks so much for watching.